Hey guys, Base Shogun, and today we're going to be taking a look and doing a review on the Lost Galaxy Megazord. Now this is of course from Power Rangers right here, all the way from 1999 I believe, and this is one of my childhood Megazords. I don't think this particular one is, I think I have the actual one I had from my childhood in storage, but oh man, this was awesome. Right, guys. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. All right, so before we get right into the review, I'm just gonna talk about some of these guys individually here. We're gonna start off with the Gorilla Galacta Beast right here. I know this is probably one of my all time favorite zords like in individual zords just because he looks mean he's so bulky nice ratcheting arms fun transformation and now here's the thing if these were the japanese version there's going to be a few differences more paint more die cast too and if this was the japanese version these are actually made of die cast, not plastic, and it just adds to the weight of this guy. I do have a copy, but he's in storage. Yeah, really guy light right thing. here. Next up, we have the Wildcat Galacta Beast. Uh, not too much articulation on this guy, but doesn't really need to be. Lion Galacta Beast here. This is a pretty awesome individual Zord. You can open up the mouth when that faceplate wants to stay up there. Kind of like that a little bit. Love the horns. Uh, lots of die cast in the back legs there. They are semi posable, but you know, you're not really going to get a lot of poses out of them. And then in here, this is just kind of the combining thing. But you can see, yeah, they did not shy out on the die cast on this guy. And right here, we have the Wolf Galacta Beast in yellow just about the same as the wildcat there still nice figure and i do dig that they did give him a different tail they didn't just you know i feel like hasbro uh would have just gave them all the same tail so it's nice to see bandai taking the time to do it right and last but certainly not least we have the galacta beast condor here very cool love the green this whole plate, this is all die cast right there. Super cool, gives the combined mode good weight. And as well, there's a nice feature gimmick there. It looks like he's flapping his wings and he's, you know, overall pretty funny looking green chicken condor bird, but that's all part of the fun. Just taking a look at this guy on the turntable and I do think it looks awesome. And this may not be part of the classic series, of Power Rangers television shows. I think a lot of the hype had worn down a little bit and things might have been getting stale, but this is still very much part of the classic line of Power Rangers Megazords. And you know, there was so many seasons and you know, it's easy to forget that, you know, this is before Wild Forest too, which is arguably the peak. And that happened in 2002-ish. So, you know, a couple years after that, but there's amazing toys. And you know, the quality didn't start to go downhill to Operation Overdrive. So you know, as a toy collector, that's one reason I really love the Power Rangers. There is so much good merchandise. And you know what? You gotta be thankful for what you can be thankful for. All right, I'm gonna get this guy into his combined mode. We'll do a Megazord transformation and we'll see how he looks. Okay, so here's the most exciting part of the video, of course. I'm gonna show you how to put them together and we're gonna see how he looks. All right, guys, it's morphin' time. Let's get into it. So, first off, you're gonna start with your gorilla there. Now, in the bottom of his feet is actually where the fists are stored. So, once we easily remove these with our gloves, there we are. Get them out. Another thing I just want to add, well, that's the first step. Another thing I want to add is if you are buying this guy new into your collection, you don't have them already, you do an eBay, you're on Facebook Marketplace, always ask, are the fists there under the feet? 
Don't just assume they are. A lot of the time they're not. And that's, you know, that's just going to tack on more and more money that you could have just bought a complete one to begin with. But super easy transformation. Shoulder pads up, arms flip in, shoulder pads down. He's ready to go. All right, let's put him off to the side. Next, we have our condor here. A couple things you can do, but we're just gonna put him in what I consider kind of the baseline mode right here. Arms down, just put his little legs up like that. Super easy, nothing to it. Right, and we have our two four-legged friends here. I guess you could say three with the lion, but these are the cute ones, so we'll go with that. This super easy, split, I go tail back in, legs up, these legs up, boom, ready to go. Exact same thing over here, of course, legs up, tail in, these legs up, ready to go. And we have our lion here. This guy's super fun to transform, a little bit fiddly. Sometimes I do get stuck on positioning the head, but I think we're gonna be all right. So what I do, flip him over, fold his bottom legs into there, and then you're gonna pinch his legs in, and that's gonna allow you to fold them into his torso there. We can also put the tail down. Now, legs up, and you can see where we're going with this, I'm sure. Pull this part back, push the torso through. There we are. And we have the head here. We will bring the mouthpiece down. Try to configure this. There we are. So yeah, you just have to play with it for a little bit. And I do want to let you guys know, this is a repo. I got this off eBay. It's a reproduction. So if you're looking at your copy and the color is a bit different, yours isn't fake. I have a repo here. The last thing we have to do before we start building this guy up, simply take these guys here, and they do come with fists right there. Very easy, just plug them in, prong system there. Male, prong, uh, female there to receive it there. And right in there, make sure of course your screws are pointing down at the ground. All right, let's start building this guy up. So you have your gorilla. What you're gonna do, take your green condor. If he comes off, that's fine. Slap him on. This is gonna allow this guy to peg in and have extra stability. Right there, into that plastic prong right there. Hell yeah, he's getting big. Arm pegs here. Oh, sword, very nice. We can have him holding it like that. So here's the thing, you have a condor left over. You have a few options what to do with it. You can have it on his back like this. So it kind of gives a little bit of wings and then yeah, if you do pull his tail, it does kind of have a little action to it. Or you can take him off the back and he actually does have a little peg out there and you can turn him into an additional weapon, which I think is awesome. You can pretend he's firing stuff at the enemy, but my favorite thing to do is, you know, just reach into your drawer. I'm sure every collector has that. Pull out another green falcon or condor, slap it on the back here, and then you can power him up. He's got wings, he's got a bird crossbow, and he's got a sword. And this is how I like to display mine. All right, guys, I've played around with it enough. I'm gonna give you my final review along with a few scaling from the line. And here he is with some of the other Zords from the Lost Galaxy line. And one thing about this line, there is not a proper Ultra Zord. And as you can see, some of the Zords a little bit on the smaller side. He's definitely one of the bulkiest ones here. Uh, there is a Carrier Zord. I do have that. I just, it's in storage right now. That offers some light, you know, you can put the some of the vehicle uh, Megazord parts into that. And it's like a big space cruiser. But yeah, overall, not too many combine and play features uh, unfortunately, however, 
A Japan exclusive uh, Lights of Orion kit adds his upgraded chest piece as well as some head furnishings. Another one I don't own, it comes packed with a Japanese Magna Defender for upwards of $200. Can be a bit less if you get lucky, but it's something I have kind of gave up hunting for and I'll eventually get there or 3D print it. All right, guys, you've seen some of the scalings. Time for my final review. All right, guys, so for my final review, this guy is 100% part of the classic line of Power Rangers Megazords right here. Uh, and you know, after this, there's still about eight years before it starts going downhill a bit. And even when it starts going downhill a bit, there is still big spikes up in quality, like Dino Charge, that is a fan favorite. So there is still a long way to, uh, to go as far as me doing reviews of classic Power Rangers Megazords, which is awesome. So he looks great. I love the animal theme. The gorilla is one of my favorite individual Zords of all time. The colors are rocking. There's die cast. He's bulky. It's a 9.5 out of 10. And, you know, if you're just starting your Power Rangers collecting journey and you're going after Megazords, you know, I'm going to throw a price up for him on eBay right now. That's what he's going for. I got this guy very early into my collecting journey. I don't have the documentation of what I paid for it. I want to say it was around 100 Canadian up to maybe 150 in between there. Sounds about right. So it's a 9.5. Hey, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And remember, don't let anyone or anything ever stop you from collecting.